Welcome to the Hub from BCA. In this video, we're going to discuss the differences between Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3 wheel bearings. A Gen 1 wheel bearing has no flanges on the bearing. However, it can be used in both driven and non-driven applications. For a driven application, this bearing would be installed to the knuckle, have a hub spindle installed to the bearing, and then be held together with the use of an axle and an axle nut. The next bearing that we will discuss is a Gen 2 wheel bearing. This bearing has a single flange. In this situation, we're looking at a non-driven bearing. This bearing would be installed to the vehicle's knuckle by sliding it onto the spindle and then securing the bearing to the spindles with the use of an axle nut. The last bearing we'll discuss today is a Gen 3 wheel bearing. The difference between a Gen 2 wheel bearing and a Gen 3 wheel bearing is the addition of a second flange. This bearing can also be used for both driven and non-driven applications. This particular bearing has a splined inner portion of the spindle so that you can slide an axle into it and drive the bearing. To install this bearing to a vehicle, you would simply bolt it to the knuckle by using the outer ring tap holes and then installing the rotor and the wheel to the hub flange itself. While you're in the hub, please feel free to check out each one of our videos covering Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3 wheel bearing removal and installation.